what is going on everybody how we doing it is 70 degrees right now in the middle of february and i just had to get out and do some creek fishing today and as you can see i cut my hair off and uh it's a little morgan wallenish um i don't know if that's good or bad but uh you know now i look like every other guy in nashville so kind of kind of cool right not really but anyway um got a couple different rods got a little medium light rod with a road runner on it i've been told that the white bass are up in the creeks right now so we're gonna go down there see if we can catch a few and then i've got a little micro jig tied on as well so we're just going to be fishing today for anything that will bite which could be smallmouth could be largemouth could be white bass could be bluegill could be crappie who knows but we are going to get to fishing and just enjoy this beautiful weather Skipjack. All right. So far, the only thing we've been able to catch is skipjack. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and move to a different creek and see if we can find some bass. At least some white bass. But, yeah. Remove spots. See if we can figure something out. So far, we have not been able to catch a bass. All we have been able to do is catch a skipjack. So, uh, move to a different creek, and we're gonna fish here for a little bit, and then, I don't know, go upstream probably, and see if we can run into some smallmouth. Y'all, look at that freaking smallmouth. On the micro jig. That was like my second cast at this spot. He was in that current. Beautiful, beautiful creek smallmouth. Look at that thing. That is awesome. Let's see if we can get another one. I had to go down this little hill here to uh, land him. So we're going to go back down here. To release him. Look at that fish. <laughs> oh man, that was freaking awesome. Probably just gonna fish down here now that I know that I can make it down here and not get stuck. It's super steep and muddy. But uh, yeah, we're gonna fish down here for a little bit. See if we can catch some more of those.
All right, this is gonna be the final spot of the day. If I can make it through these uh, prickly bushes here. And uh, we're gonna try to get one more fish. One more fish, that's all I want. Oh my gosh, I'm getting, all right, hold on. What is going on, everybody? How are we doing? We are down here at the creek, and we're going to be doing some creek fishing today, obviously. And uh, going to be throwing the micro jig like last week, but going to be going with a different trailer. I was fishing the Mini D trunk last week. Right here, we have a trimmed up version of the Mini D bomb. A little bit different size, a little bit smaller of a presentation with a little Mini D trunk or with the mini uh, D-bomb. Last week I had a couple fish pop off and I wanted to make sure I fished with something a little bit smaller this time. So we can target something a little bit smaller if needed. Maybe a little rock bass. Maybe some smaller, small mouth. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get tied up. And we're gonna go down here, set the camera up, and try to catch some fish. So, we're gonna be fishing a quarter ounce micro football jig today. 12 pound braid, excuse me, 10 pound braid to a seven pound fluorocarbon leader. The water is a lot clearer today than it was a week ago, and the current's not moving quite as fast. So, let's get to casting. See if we can catch some fish. All right. This bridge is so sketchy, but caught some really good fish off of it. So, let's see what we can do. Getting bites from something, something down there. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, ha, heck yeah. Nice, super dark, super, super dark rock bass. Look at that, finally got a fish. A little rock bass, beautiful fish. There, buddy. Problem is this current is still pretty strong, not near as strong as it was last week, but it's kind of hard to keep this jig on the bottom, even though it's a quarter ounce, it's still, it's pretty deep right here. All right, well, I'll let you go. Um, yeah, definitely try to set up something with Chris. I think that's the best bet. No. Nope. So, all right. All right, bye. Oh man, all right. Tired of talking business, let's get back to fishing. I think that's a rock bass, yep. Good rock bass too. Oh yeah. Look at that little guy. Beautiful little rock bass. There, buddy. All right. More rock bass. Small one. Real small one. Uh, 
Little guy right there. Little guy. All the spots I fished today, I've seen smallmouth. Um, and they've been kind of schooled up. So once I find them, I think I'll probably be able to catch a couple out of this hole. But right now, I have yet to find them. Ooh, that was a good bite. That's a small mouth. That's a small mouth. We're a really big rock bass. Nope, it's a small mouth. Nice. Come here, buddy. Mm. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Beautiful little fish. Might have found a little hole of them. A little school of them out there. Hopefully. What in the world is this? Oh, a stick. That makes sense. Thought good. Oh! Oh, no! No, 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 no. That was a giant smallmouth. Oh my god, that was a giant smallmouth. That was a absolute giant. That was an absolute giant. I was just kind of dragging this jig along the bottom and I didn't even feel it bite. Hope I didn't sting him too good. Maybe he'll bite again. That's not the one that I hooked into, but that is a decent little smallmouth. Look at that, yes, nice. Nice little smallmouth right there. On the micro jig still. I'm fishing this micro jig the entire day. It just gets bit. No if and buts about it. Nice fish. Nice fish. He's running. Oh! He was running so fast I couldn't keep up with him. Golly, man. Whew. All right, it's cold. And uh, honestly, I'm defeated. Thought we'd have a much better day in the creek, but it is what it is.